I have heard mixed people and white passing people speak about the conversations that Mayo sapiens have when we're not in the room, when they think that everybody is the same. And if you let people talk long enough, if you let them feel comfortable long enough, they will they will tell all the secrets. They will tell everything. This next woman whose um, audio I'm about to share, she was in a disguise because her hair was in its natural state. And this man, because of that, felt comfortable like, oh, yeah, she's the, she's the kind that I like. I'm going to speak. And even though other times she's wearing her wigs or weaves, according to her audio. So she let him talk. And it is so important to let them talk. Do not try to change their mind because their minds um, won't change. Their words could change. But it is so important for us as women and for our daughter's sake to understand the minds of these people in their comfortable state, not when they are trying to change because of appearances sake. So listen to this story that she relates. This man was speaking his truth the way he knows it. And he is speaking on what these dudes are doing. I talk about males failing and flailing because they know that the mom to wife pipeline is drying up. They keep talking about marriage and trying to stress the importance of marriage to women and not being single for women. But that is a ruse. It is that <laughs> reverse psychology, but it's not working because women are not falling for it. Women are not falling for it and they know it. Anyways, go ahead. Listen to this woman. I'm not coming in on the back end. So y'all go ahead. Jump in the comments. Tell me what you think. Like, comment, share. If you let men talk long enough, they will tell you exactly who they are. And who men are becoming now is scary. So I went to go get my car changed, the oil change today. So I am the only woman in the in the mechanic shop. And I don't have any hair or makeup. I'm regular degular because I'm getting my car done. So this man starts talking to me and he's like, you know, I got to tell you, I really love that you seem to, you know, that you're a natural woman, no hair, no makeup. I think you're beautiful the way you are. Um, and I said, well, don't get too happy with this. I said, I'm not that natural woman. I said, I do wear hair and makeup. I just didn't put it on because I'm coming to get my car done. So then he says to me, I don't understand why women wear that stuff. I said, maybe because women enjoy wearing that stuff and women are wearing that stuff for them and not for anybody else. And he said, yeah, but if women know that most men don't like that, why aren't they, why are they still wearing that stuff? If you know most men don't like that. I said, because maybe we're not living for men. I said, maybe women are okay being by themselves and not having men who don't want them to have hair or makeup. Like, I'm going to tell you as a woman, I'm completely fine with being by myself if all the men did not like that I have hair and makeup. So he said, well, why would you want to be by yourself? I said, because if why wouldn't I not want to be by myself? I said, being single is not a punishment for me. It's actually freedom. So then he starts saying, I don't understand this this new wave. Like, I don't understand why, like, women don't seem to want men. I said, no, that's not true. I said, there's a lot of women that want men. The problem is men want women who don't want them. And rather than pursue the women who want men, Y'all are stuck on the women who aren't interested in men currently in their lives for whatever reason. Maybe they're on a, taking a break from dating. Maybe they've been married. Maybe they've been divorced and decided singleness is for them. I said, y'all are pursuing women who don't want y'all, but you won't pursue the women who do. And this man looks at me and he says, well, we can pursue whoever we want. Women should be more concerned about being uh, uh, accessible and attractive to us. So I said, and what if women just want to be by themselves? He said, then you'll have a society where women are just being taken and great because men are not going to be alone, especially with women in the world. Men have different needs than women. Did you catch that? That if women make the decision to be alone, that men will take them. And this is what's so scary because there's more women move into singleness and celibacy, the angrier the men are becoming and the more violent they
there becoming on the other side of our celibacy. So women aren't even safe in singleness. And women aren't safe because as long as men see women as their right, they will take us. Scary. Scary.